Where was Emma? Good morning! We're going to talk about a topic that has been long overdue for me to mention at least, and that is the Galaxy F9. More specifically, how much more powerful the S9 could be than the S8, and some other features that could be included. Real quick though, even though the Patreon page officially launched today, a gentleman named Christopher Caswell decided to go ahead and become a Scotty shortly after I posted the video yesterday talking about Patreon. So, Christopher, my Scotty, like, holy sh man, thank you so much. I was blown the f*** away. Anyways, in an article that I saw from Tech Radar, the link to which will be in the description as always, Samsung had just announced the Exynos 9810, which kind of makes me jealous of those who are not in the US, because the Exynos one will be what they're getting instead of the one that we're getting, which is Snapdragon 845. I really hope that they don't try too hard to put any kind of face ID into the S9, but it appears, according to the description for it that they might try to do that. It said one of the seemingly headline features of the Exynos 9810 is a depth sensing feature to scan users face in 3D for face tracking filters as well as strong security when unlocking a device with one's face. No, don't do that because everybody's gonna be like, see, there's that copying Apple again. And really like face ID has been hacked multiple times, so it's not the flawless security system that Apple portrayed it to be, of course. The filters suggest, obviously, that one might be able to change one's live appearance on the screen, similar to Apple's stolen name and emoji, which they're getting sued over. But what is really, what a really juicy detail that I'm, that I'm super excited about is the possibility for 120 frames per second 4K footage. Oh, just had a mild nerdgasm. One very likely upgrade to the Samsung Galaxy S9 is improved video recording as the Exynos 9810 can shoot 4K video at up to 120 frames per second. If this is true, then that's like, oh my god, holy sh man. Then we could like all just trash the iPhone X by recording 120 frames per second buttery smooth slow motion 4K footage that the iPhone X cannot match. Now, it says here the slow motion 4K isn't specifically mentioned anywhere in the Exynos 9810 information, but if we can do 120 frames per second 4K, then we can do 4K slow-mo. That's just how frame rates and stuff work. Obviously more power, but it's significantly more power, and I'll show you why. So the S8 has the Exynos 8895, Exynos 8895 in it, which is running at 2.3 gigahertz and 1.7 gigahertz. That's for like the high, end, the high speed cores and the low speed cores. No, not you, Bixby. This one is running at 2.9 gigahertz at the high end and 1.9 gigahertz at the low end. That's almost two gigahertz at the low end. This is gonna be like, <laughs> very exciting. Single core performance is apparently twice as good as the previous processor, while the multi-core performance should be 40% better on top of it being less power hungry. So we're looking at a phone that could potentially be twice as powerful as 2017's model and use less power. That's like a win, 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 win. Also, it's saying that the GPU should also be another 20% more powerful, just like the S7 was 20% more powerful than the S6, and the S8, blah, 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 than the S7, yada, yada, yada. So more incremental improvements as to be expected with the graphics processing unit. Faster downloads. So we might also get faster speeds with LTE, or no, cat, cat 18, I'm assuming that means category 18 LTE, speeds up to 1.2 Gbps. Now, I don't know if that's gigabits or gigabytes per second, but I know that that's pretty f fast. And they say that that's apparently fast enough for streaming high quality virtual reality video, which Samsung is really, really big on. So that should be exciting. It doesn't go much into cameras, or at least this article doesn't talk about how much the cameras might improve with the Exynos 9810. Is that, that's right? Yeah, 9810? Yes, 9810. <laughs> it apparently has a dual ISP image signal processor, one of which is high performing while the other is very low power, thereby extending battery life. So they're, they're saying that apparently the chip is also capable of faster autofocus, even faster autofocus, because it's already like lightning <laughs> fast, and improves the algorithms used for noise reduction, edge enhancement, and faith beautification. Photos and videos should also be more likely to stay in focus, which is awesome because I know how much of a struggle it is to keep things in f***ing autofocus because this, even though it's not a cell phone camera. Advanced stabilization technology. So, this is like a far-fetched thing, but we could have even better stabilization on the S9. And real quick, 
I shot a demo reel with my with Jason in Dallas recently, and one of the little clips in there was shot with the Note 8 inside a moving vehicle. I was surprised that I could even use that for that demo reel. It was super smooth. They're also talking about better audio. So basically your phone would use less battery while playing music, which is nice. They're talking about Bixby Vision improving because it, it sucks. Sorry, but man, like I, I've tried on multiple occasions to use Bixby Vision and it's just... I'm stoked as about it. Based on the rumor mill stuff that we've already seen, it's very unlikely that Samsung will make any huge design changes to the S9, but... Oh, and one other thing that kind of pisses me the f*** off that Samsung's doing is that they are thought to be making some features exclusive to the S9 Plus instead of the S8... Or no, sorry, the S9 and the S9 Plus, which really, like, I understand it might make them more money, but that's so Apple and so f disgusting. Like, why? No. On an unrelated note, happy Patreon lunch day! My goal is to be able to make a living doing this without having to be somewhere else for 8 hours a day, 40 hours a week. Which will mean better videos for you, more time for live streams, and more frequent live streams, giveaways, free merch, and possibly even whole videos made just for a question you asked. The way it looks right now, even if 5% of the 8,000 subscriber base hit the, like, the $5 tier, boom. The reward tiers are detailed on patreon.com forward slash beamed up. I'll see you later at and... Stay beaming.